What's up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube exclusive from the Deep Dig a Sports Pod. I'm your host, Drew. That's my other host. What's up? It's D. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching. We're going to get into a little bit of topics here, but go ahead and like, comment, subscribe if you're not. And send this to another 49ers fan. Let's spread the word. We're talking about 49ers football here every week. Yeah, we're talking to you. Watching this right now. Send it to somebody. But there was... Uh, okay, Ufunga. We talked about him on the pod. Check the pod. Uh, great player. But there's also this narrative going on in the background where fans are kind of shitting, or maybe not shitting, but they're kind of hating on uh, Jaquaski Tart, who was our starting safety last year. So they're obviously comparing the new safety with the old safety. And there was a little bit of a thing on Twitter going, what, what's going on on Twitter with these guys? So, um, Al Sacco, Al Sacco 49, A-L-S-A-C-C-O 49. Uh, he wasn't shitting on Joukowsky Tart at all. Uh, so what he said was Teleno Funga has two interceptions and four passes defended in four games this season. Tart has four interceptions in seven seasons. His career high was four passes defended in 2020. So far, Hufunga has been a massive upgrade in terms of making plays on the ball. To be I fair, think is, that's, that's, kind, a, that's, that's a fact, but that's kind of like a sneak diss. Fuck no, it's not. That's literally just stating what it is. Like, why are, this, this why is are we even facts. bringing up Tart anymore? Like, this is, a, a, he sought out this information and he sneaked this in, but. It is not a sneak diss, bro. There is no way that's a sneak diss. That is literally stating facts. And what you're doing is comparing what you had to what you have now. That's like me saying like, oh, dude, I have such a better car now. I don't have a car now, but I have such a better car now. But it's not as that like me stating like, oh, I get so much more uh, mile like. Fuck, what's your car dis- analogy? You're sneak dissing that car. Yeah, you're sneak but dissing that like, car. But me stating the facts of like I get more miles per the gallon. I can drive faster. I can do all these different things. That's not sneak dissing my old car. That's just staying. It's literally the same thing. The one thing has this function. The other thing had the same function. I'm comparing the two. And this one, it's much better. Yeah, but I'm saying it's not a sneak. Diss. There's, there's some intent behind this post of like saying. Yeah, Tart wasn't as good. Like there's intent behind this post. I don't um, think so. I think it I think there's, was just highlighting. Why Ufunga can't he just and give Ufunga had- the he could have tweeted out the stuff of like tweet out Ufunga stats and tweet that Ufunga is like the highest rated safety or whatever by PFF. But he brought Tart into this to specifically point out, yeah, Tart sucked. Like, I think that's what he did. That was, you know, that's my opinion. I think he could have bring him up without putting Tart down. But what did Tart have to say? Tart actually quoted this guy. Yeah. So Tart quoted this guy. Uh, so he said, still had a nice career. Shout out to Teleno Funga. He even tagged him, said, keep your foot on the pedal. So with Grace, he's like, hey, I still had a good career, uh, which is actually pretty wild to say, in my opinion. I don't think this guy should be out of the league. Like, I think there's safeties that are worse than Jaquaski Tart out there playing right now. Um, I don't think he should be out of the league, but it is what it is. He just doesn't have a job currently. Uh, but for him to be like, I still had a nice career. Hey, don't give up, buddy. I think he's, I think there's there's always injuries out there. Something's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, you could say Tashawn Gibson is the guy that was halfway out the league before the Niners picked him up. And now look look he at him now. Nice. He's, he's great safety. He's like number four or five in PFF in safety rankings. But I don't know. I don't know if Kwaski Tar is that good anymore because he just got a shot with the Eagles and he couldn't even make the roster. He got cut. He had a chance. It's not like he was a guy that the 49ers let walk and then never got picked up again, never got a shot. We'll see maybe next year if he makes a comeback, but I think he was good for us. He was a good player. He didn't have the stats, but it, it was, wasn't was really about the stat sheet. He was, he was good. He was solid safety. Uh, but now, I don't know. Did he not look good at all in training camp uh, to even make a backup spot? 
it's it's tough. Uh, I think there was even a time where right when Jimmy Ward went down, 49ers fans were calling to bring back Kwaski Tart. And there was this kind of divide on Twitter of half the fans saying like, oh, we can use him. He'd be good for us. And the other half being like, nah, he's washed. Like, we don't want him back. And I think that came from a place of people still holding on to that dropped interception from playoffs. That's really what I think is all this kind of like tart slander of comparing him to Funga is coming from. Like, I don't think you normally see so much bringing up a past player when another player comes up and is better than him uh, at a position at, at a, like a safety position. I don't really see that too much. It's kind of just like, well, this guy's here now. He's great. I don't I could be wrong. Do you see that often of like, yeah, this guy we like we had last year wasn't as good as this, like constantly comparing. Like at some point, don't you just let that go? Yeah, I think so. But also, I think because on Twitter, he has been more involved, like with the 49ers fan base. So they kind of bring it up to like his his name does stay in the vernacular a little bit. I don't think when a, a player leaves like you know, Jaquaski Tart. Usually, I don't think they stay around uh, them Twitter streets. You know what I mean? So I think that's more of what it is. And there are people that do feel like slighted by it. But realistically, that wasn't Kwaski's game. Like, I know that wasn't Kwaski's game to play the ball. Um, but that's like kind of what the 49ers needed moving forward. Um, do I think there is a place for his game in the NFL? Yes. Like, I think that there's not. 32 safeties that are better than Jaquaski Tart playing in the league. But, you know what I mean? I think that his play style does hurt him when evaluating because you look at his stats and you're like, why are we even going to like evaluate this guy? Like he doesn't make plays, but like those aren't the type of play he makes. He makes tackles. He's just there in coverage. He's always in the right store, tries to always be in the right spot. Is he like a ball hawk by any means? No, but. I don't think that was ever his, like, truly his game. Yeah, and look at Jimmy Ward. Like, 49ers knew that Jimmy Ward was a great player, but he had no respect amongst the league other than, like, this this year, maybe last year. But he just wasn't an interception guy. He wasn't a stat stuffer. But we knew that he brought value to the team. And that's kind of the same with Tart, where he's not going to put up stats, like crazy stats, but you know he's going to really help this defense be a cohesive unit. And I hate to see like people slander him on Twitter because he was a good player for us. He was solid. Like when we saw Elijah Mitchell go off, I don't, I didn't see really people be like, Oh, well, Elijah, look how good Elijah Mitchell is. And he's better than most hurt. Like I didn't see like people trying to like throw the comparison flag like that. So I'd rather just be like, yeah, Ufunga's great. Tar was good for us, but we don't got to like bring down Tart to bring up Ufunga, you know? Yeah, I get what you mean. And I get where like it was coming from. It is purely stats. Like, Hey, these stats, like on paper, they are better at this specific thing, but that specific thing wasn't tart. His, that wasn't his game. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I get where that's coming from. And honestly, it does suck to see like, you know, it like, Maybe it didn't hurt his feelings, but it like it made him feel some type of way. And it, he like he seems like a really good dude to be like, hey, especially he doesn't have up, a job right now. Yeah, propping up Telenovu Funga, like keep the keep your foot on the pedal, like that's awesome. So like, classy. shout out to you, Kwaski. Yeah, that, that was, was a classy, classy move. I hope he, <clears throat> dude. I'm telling you, like he should be in the league. There's no fucking way that he goes from being a starter in a championship level team to being off. A, co a roster completely like that's bullshit yeah and i know me and you were talking like before this saying like is that like kind of a product of what they just saw in the championship game is him dropping interception or is it what they're seeing on film or is it what they're seeing like in person in camp we just don't know what teams are looking at when they see him and why he didn't get picked up and i my thing was like i think the safety position is just like not really a position people like teams invest in if, unless you're like Seattle and you have to pay Jamal Adams a bunch of money to sit on the bench. <clears throat> but this is a position that people don't want to invest money into. They're going to draft some guy in the fifth, sixth round and see if he hits. 
And then they're going to pick up the cheapest free agent to be a backup, or they're just going to keep the guy in house, whoever's there. And I don't see a lot of people like searching for that next safety starter on the rare occasion. You get like the, yeah, the Jamal Adams trade. The, I think it was Marcus Williams getting, yeah. getting signed. You get the, the trade. Who's the guy who went to the Steelers, Mika Fitzpatrick, but you don't see a lot of, a lot of safeties be moved around at like starter level level safeties in the league. Yeah, that's true. Um, maybe he's washed. I don't know. <laughs> no he's a good guy he's a good guy but yeah that that's all i got on that yeah i think that's it but uh best of luck to you kwaski stay out of these twitter streets dog don't do it twitter is ruthless my guy <laughs> don't don't challenge these don't challenge them on these twitter. fucking keyboard nerds but follow us on twitter guys <laughs> see ya